Good afternoon, my dear students, the students of grade five. Today's lesson is going to be about sequence. But before I start the lesson, I have to admit that this is the first video on Ramadan. And uh, I want to say happy Ramadan for everyone. And I want to uh, I want to tell you that we are going to continue our lessons throughout uh, the first two weeks in Ramadan. It means this week and the next week. Um, and we will start this week using the um, comprehension scale in the reading street as we do on Sunday. So today's lesson will be about sequence. And we explained the sequence comprehension scale before. Sequence is the order of events in a selection, dates and times of a day. And we have clue words, or words that highlight the sequence of the story, like first, next, and then. They can help you summarize the sequence of events in a text or a story. So for example, if we are going to read this one about what do you know about Harlem? This part in here, what do you know about Harlem in here? You will find out after reading all that text that uh, an action happened first, and then another one, and then another one, and finally the end of the story. So the sequence of the story, it means the order of events in the story. Okay, and I told you before that the story, any story starts with the exposition, which is the setting of the story, and how the writer of the story introduces the characters of the story. And then we go to the uh, rising action, then the climax, then the folding action, and finally the end of the story. Okay, this is how I build, or how the writer builds his uh, story from the beginning until the end of the story. That's what I call a sequence. So a sequence is a, is an order of events in a, in a story. Okay, this is the sequence. If you turn over the page, you will find the new vocabulary about the story. Uh, let's take them one by one. The first one, listen and repeat. Clarinet. Clarinet. What is a clarinet? If you look in here, you will find that this is the clarinet. Yeah, this one in here. This is a clarinet. This one is a clarinet. And the definition of the clarinet is a woodwind, is a woodwind instrument having a mouthpiece with a single reed and played by means of holes and keys. And this is the clarinet. This one is a clarinet. It's a, one of the musical instruments. Okay, let's go back again to the next one. Jammed. 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 If I show you the flashcard, try to guess what does it mean? Jammed. Yeah. In here, jammed. Jammed. It means what? Can you guess this one? Okay, let's go to the definition. Jammed, it means made music with other musicians without having a practice. This is the meaning of jammed. So when you made or when you make music with other musicians, it means with other people who play music like you, without having a practice, this is jammed. This is the meaning of jammed. So those people in here are doing or are making music but without practicing, without practicing. Okay, this is the meaning of jammed. The next one. Nighttime. Nighttime. Nighttime, you know that nighttime it means time between evening and morning. So the nighttime, it means the, the time between evening and morning. Check the flashcard for so this. Yeah, this is the nighttime. So the nighttime is the time between, e between evening and morning. The next one. Base. Base. What is base? From the flashcard, you will know it. This is the base. Oh, it's not that one, actually. Yes, in here. Yeah, bass, this one in here. It's another musical instrument. This one is bass. So let's go back again to the definition. Bass, it means the largest, lowest sounding string instrument in an orchestra or band. Okay, so it's the largest and the lowest standing string instrument in an orchestra or band. Okay, like this one in here, I show you the flashcard. Let's go back again. Next one. Frigidity. Frigidity. What is a frigidity? Frigidity. And the definition frigidity, it means restless or uneasy. Something that is restless or uneasy. Something that is not easy. Frigidity, it means uneasy, like in the flashcard. 
Yeah, like in here. Look at the feeling of the woman in here. Her feeling is uneasy. It's frigidity. Uneasy means frigidity. Okay, let's go back again. Next one. Forgetful. Forgetful. From the word itself, forgetful. Forgetful, it means apt to forget. Having a poor memory. So when I say forget, forget, forgetful, it means something that having a poor memory or you forget. Like this one in here. Yeah, like forgetful. In here, listen, they say, remember, turn off lights. They did put these uh, labels in here because uh, maybe somebody in the home is always um, is always in, in in a rush or he uh, doesn't remember so much that we, that's why they put that in here to remind him to turn off lights. So forgetful it means someone who uh, forgets easily. Let's go back again. Last one. Second hand. Second hand, which means. Definition. Yes, yeah, second hand it means not new. Something that is not new or used already by someone else. This is second hand. So when you get, for example, a second hand mobile, it means that it's not new. Somebody else used it for used it and then you use it after him. So this is second hand and the flashcard for second hand is this this one. Yeah, second hand. All the furniture in here uh, is second hand. This is a second hand chair. Second hand chair, it means it's not new. It means it's used before. This is the big of second hand. So let's go back again. This was the last word. We're not going to read this part in here about jazz in Harlem because we have no time for uh, this for the video. But uh, tomorrow in the online session, we're going to discuss all these parts together. Let's go straight to the story of sweet music in Harlem. Uh, the genre of this story is realistic fiction, which is um, the characters and the settings of the story seem to be real or seem to be true. This is the meaning of realistic fiction. Okay, so how's sweet music in Harlem? Let's check if we know it or not. I'm gonna let you listen to this part, guys, and we're gonna discuss the theme and the plot of the story, and we're gonna apply the skill of uh, the sequence and this story in the online session together. Now, listen to the story with me. CJ, where can my hat be? Called Uncle Click from the bathroom. That photographer from High Note Magazine will be out front in an hour and I've got to look good. It's not every day a Harlem trumpet player gets his picture taken. CJ smiled at the old poster on the wall. A young Uncle Click with a snappy black beret blew a gleaming trumpet. CJ looked at that poster every morning and dreamed of standing on stage, blowing his own sweet music for a room full of admiring folks. During the four years that he had lived with Uncle Click, CJ had learned to hold his clarinet just right, to practice every day, and to keep a penny in his shoe for good luck. When he blew out the candles on his birthday cake next week, he'd wish that one day his own picture would be on a poster too. But for now, CJ just tried to make his notes ring out clear and strong from his dented second-hand clarinet. Uncle Click chuckled as he walked into the room. Those were the days, he said, nodding at the poster. Back then I played the meanest trumpet in Harlem. Now all I do is lose things. Don't worry, Uncle Click, I'll find your hat, CJ said. Where could you have left it? Well, said Uncle Click as he looked behind the couch, last night I stopped at the barber shop and the diner. Later on I jammed at the Midnight Melody Club. Uncle Click's voice trailed off as he searched under the cushion of his favorite chair. When music was on Uncle Click's mind, he forgot everything else. He could have left his hat anywhere, and there wasn't much time to find it. CJ ran down the street. The striped pole outside Garlic's barber shop glistened like a candy cane. Inside, the place buzzed as everyone talked at once. 
at Garlic's, neighborhood news traveled faster than a subway train speeding downtown. Did you see that Kansas City drummer cut loose at the midnight melody last night? One of the men shouted. Yeah, he was cool, but it sure was hot in there, someone else replied. Mr. Garlic talked louder than anyone. A toothpick jutting from the corner of his mouth bounced up and down as he scolded a fidgety customer. A photographer from High Note magazine is coming soon, CJ blurted out. Mr. Garlic, CJ called, but no one heard him. Mr. Garlic, CJ said again louder. The barber finally spotted CJ and smiled. Looky here, it's my favorite young jazz man. Mark my words, he'll be a headliner soon. What can I do for you, CJ? A photographer from High Note magazine is coming soon, CJ blurted out, and Uncle Click lost his hat. Did he leave it here? Your uncle didn't leave his hat, but he did leave this, said Mr. Garlic, holding up a shiny watch. When Click blows his horn, that barber pole spins, but he is a little forgetful. CJ thanked Mr. Garlic and slipped the watch into his pocket. You say some photographer is coming from High Note, Mr. Garlic said. Well, a photo without big Charlie Garlic wouldn't be much of a picture, right, folks? As C.J. hurried away, he could hear the people in the barber shop buzzing about the photographer. I've got to find that hat, C.J. muttered to himself. C.J. rushed around the corner and into the jam-packed eat-and-run diner. Just inside the door, he jumped back as a waitress zipped past, balancing plates of ham and eggs on one arm and home fries and sausage on the other. The waitress grinned at C.J., her apron still swaying from her dash across the room. Hey, C.J., she said. Hi, Maddie D., said C.J. Did Uncle Click leave his hat here? A photographer from High Note magazine is coming to take his picture in a few minutes, and Uncle Click needs his hat. Honey, Click didn't leave his hat, but he did leave this, said Maddie D. She pulled a handkerchief from her pocket and dropped it into C.J.'s hand. Your uncle leaves his things all over Harlem, but when he wails on his trumpet, the salt shakers bounce. And if you keep practicing, one day you'll make them bounce, too. Thanks for the hanky, Maddie D., C.J. said. Did you say a photographer from High Note is coming? Maddie D. asked. I'd love to be in the picture, especially if I can stand right next to your handsome uncle. As C.J. left the diner, he could hear Maddie D. telling her customers about the photographer. But I've still got to find Uncle Click's hat, C.J. moaned. C.J. raced down the block, then bounded down the stairs of the Midnight Melody Club. Even though the club was closed, eight musicians were crowded onto the small stage, playing as if it were still showtime. The bass player's eyes glistened as he plucked his instrument. The vibraphone player tapped the keys with his eyes closed. CJ, the drummer shouted without losing the beat, we're saving a spot for you here. I reckon you'll be joining us in a few years. A woman strolled toward CJ from the back of the club. She didn't seem to notice that it wasn't nighttime. She still wore a fancy dress and rings glittered on her fingers. Miss Alma, CJ called, a photographer from High Note magazine is coming to take Uncle Click's picture and he can't find his hat. Did he leave it on stage last night? Canary Alma shook her head. Your uncle didn't leave his hat here, but he did leave this, she said, and plucked a bow tie from the piano bench. He's forgetful, but when Click blows his trumpet, the wallpaper curls. C.J. thanked Canary Alma and slid the tie over his wrist. A photographer from High Note, Canary Alma exclaimed, smoothing her dress. My face next to your uncle's will give that photo a touch of class. C.J.'s shoulders drooped as he left the Midnight Melody Club. He didn't want to disappoint Uncle Click, but he just couldn't find that hat anywhere. 
Okay, guys, we are going to continue all the story together in the online session because it will take a lot of time. Okay. Uh, as you can see in here, we have a lot of pages to read together. So in the online session, we're going to discuss the beginning of the story till the end to know what happened at the end and then apply the skill of a sequence, the comprehension skill of sequence in the parts of the story. See you tomorrow in the online session. Until then, stay safe and sound. Stay at home.